becoming a mum is just what I've always wanted to be, so to find out that I am beginning to become one is, is amazing. We had IVF, so it was, you know, we were doubly excited, uh, absolutely over the moon when the result came back positive first time. Becoming a, a mum is excitement, shock, amazement, everything rolled into one. Every emotion you could imagine, it's wonderful. Because I was a little bit older, there may be some complications. This is my first child, probably my only child because of my age, and I didn't want to take any risk of uh, miscarriage with amniocentesis. The concerns for any baby, are sort of any sort of syndromes that it might have or problems you know, with the baby itself, until you find out they're all, all clear, then I think you've always got that in the back of your mind. There are a number of different types of non-invasive prenatal tests available at the moment, but the one that we choose is the NIFTY test. It has been evaluated on over 300,000 pregnancies, far more than any of the other different tests. It's safe because it is non-invasive and doesn't put the pregnancy at risk of miscarriage. It's flexible because it works not only for single pregnancy but for twins and pregnancy where donors' eggs have been used. And it's done very early. It's available from 10 weeks of pregnancy with full results back in two weeks. When we had the Nifty test done, it was just a simple blood test, uh, like any other blood test that you'd have. Nifty stands for Non-Invasive Fetal Trisomy Test. And the idea is that you take a blood sample from the mother's arm, it will go to the laboratory and they will then extract the baby's DNA and test it in much the same way as you would an amniocentesis sample where they take a small sample of the amniotic fluid from the pregnancy sac and that carries with it a risk of miscarriage. Non-invasive prenatal testing is based on taking a blood sample from the mother's arm and so it's safe. I think it allows you to deal with the situation that you're going to be in, whether it's good or bad. The accuracy now is over 99.5% in terms of picking up conditions like Down syndrome, Edwards syndrome and Patau syndrome. For parents where the result has come back as positive, they can then make decisions about whether or not to continue the pregnancy. And for those who would wish to continue the pregnancy, other testing can be done to look for heart and other problems which may influence how the baby is best looked after whenever it's born. The impact for us of the negative result enables us to enjoy Annie's pregnancy rather than be worried about problems that may occur later on. I definitely think that the test is worth its money because it's so accurate. It was very safe. It was a very simple test to do as well. It was just a question of going into the room, blood taken, done. I would pay over and over again to make sure of that accuracy. The test was definitely worth it. It was absolutely brilliant and it was no harm to me or the baby. I would strongly advise it for everybody to have.